Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again to the High School Sports Meet. I'm Dave Yates. It's time now for the High School Notebook, and that means it's time for Matt Trable to hop on board. Matt, thanks for joining us once again. Thanks for having me on. Hey, let's talk some college basketball. Let's talk Buffalo area. Let's talk women's basketball and um, one of the local players who's doing really well once again for that program. It did not take much time at all for former Edison Tech inventor Daisha Fair to have her Division One breakout for UB as a freshman last season. She ended up as the MAC, the Mid American Conference Freshman of the Year, and on an even bigger scale, finished the season fourth in the entire nation in scoring at 22 points per game, as well as being top 20 nationally in steals average. So defense and offense there. She does a lot of things for this team. All of that also meant the accolades also poured in coming into this season. Thaisha was named the preseason watch list for the Nancy Lieberman Award for the top point guard in all of D1 women's hoops and the Becky Hammond Award for the top mid-major player in those ranks in the women's game. Last weekend in a comeback win over Akron, she achieved the program's first triple-double since March of 2001 with 28 points, 12 boards, and 10 dimes versus those Akron Zips. 25 of those points came in the second half as she was working through a hurt ankle. So a big time performance for her for so many different reasons. And the potential is really there, if you ask me, and I think we ask a lot of people, for her to be a WNBA draft pick like former Bull and fellow Rochesterian Sierra Dillard just a couple years ago. And Aisha was at the draft pick announcement party for Sierra. So maybe some foreshadowing there. <laughs> very, very Cosmic as far as that goes, looking into the crystal ball there. Let's stay on the 716 area code and talk about another college basketball program, another local player who's playing for Canisius after transferring in, after transferring during her high school days as well. Another former Section 5 player who is doing big things in a starting role in Division One this season. Actually played against Aisha Fair and the Buffalo Bulls recently. A couple years ago, former Eastridge and Aquinas Institute student athlete Kayla Jackson played in 26 games with four starts as a freshman at UMBC, Maryland, Baltimore County. That's out of the America East Conference. After a freshman season of just under 100 points and 100 rebounds, so as a first-year player, a big contribution there. She unfortunately had to miss all of last season with the retrievers due to injury. But then she transferred to Canisius for maybe a new start, getting past those injury woes. So she is a Canisius this current season. She has started every game this year so far in the Golden Griffins front court. In the previously mentioned matchup with UB, Kayla went for 10 points while only missing one shot, four for five in that game. A team high five rebounds and a pair of assists. She is a player that can also run the floor really well despite being a front court player. She really does everything. Kind of like we talked about Deja Fair a second ago. Another playing for Section 5 that can do so many different things on the court for her squad. In the second week of January, Kanisha does battle with former Bishop Carney student athlete Alora Simmons in Monmouth. So another Section 5 versus Section 5 coming up. In just the new year, not too long from now. All right, let's go from hardwoods and hoops to hockey, and let's talk about a place known as Happy Valley, but nowadays it's not really happy for the football team, so it's Hockey Valley. Section 5 standout doing really well for the Nittany Lions at Penn State. I like that, Hockey Valley. Very, very fitting if you look at kind of the young program there and all the success that has brought upon coming here, including Kevin Wall, a guy from here, a Rochesterian, he provided the big moments to end last season and begin this season for a PSU men's ice hockey program that has been a staple in the top 25 rankings since the program first came about. Penfield native Kevin Wall mentioned him a second ago. So he played lacrosse but not puck at Penfield High School, was doing a different route, which a lot of these kids do across the states when they're really, really good. And also, yeah, plenty of good players that also stay in the high school game, including around here in Section 5. So he's a sophomore forward for the Nittany Lions and has led the team in scoring for a wide majority of this season so far. And he has had three goals, seven points for the first eight games in what ended up being the last game for the team last year due to COVID, no postseason going on across the sport nationally. He was a freshman, and Kevin Walsh scored the game winner versus nationally ranked Minnesota to give Penn State its first ever Big Ten regular season crown. And then in the 2020 season opener, what do you know versus the same team in the then number 11 at the time, Golden Gophers. Wall scored the team's first goal this season. Also, Kevin was selected. You have to mention it. It's a big deal. He was selected 2019 NHL draft, sixth round by the Carolina Hurricanes. So, again, this is a big area for hockey. I think it's an underrated area across the country. And Kevin Wall is just one of the very most recent examples of that. Got to admit, I, that Hockey Valley wasn't mine. I stole it. I was watching a Penn State game on TV and saw it, but it, it stuck with me. So, hey, Matt, as always, a pleasure. Thanks for joining us, buddy. We'll see you next week. Thanks for having me on. All right, we're back with more of the High School Sports Beat right after this.